Today we're going to drive this gorgeous 1972 Chevy Nova Skyroof. Very rare factory option with these Skyroofs. It's riding on a brand new set of American Racing Torque Thrust chrome rims, brand new BFG raised white letter tires we put on less than five miles ago. It's got a super nice uh, paint job, tons of uh, stuff done to it mechanically. If you go to our home website, www.coyoteclassics.com. You're going to see a, a big list of all the new parts that the previous owner and stuff had done on this car. And uh, just a fantastic, rare Skyroof 1972 Nova. This also was a magazine car. It was uh, on the cover of a, a parts magazine. And there's some copies of that that also comes with the car along with a lot of uh, other documentation on the uh, numbers and stuff like that on the sky roofs made. If we go to the front bumper and grill, the grill is in excellent shape. The front bumper is fantastic. Uh, just a great look. I would kind of call this a sky blue metallic. Uh, very nice uh, metallic, laid out very nicely. As we go underneath the hood, we got a nice crate motor 350. We've got the Edelbrock uh, Street Performer heads. Same thing, it's got the intake, carburetor, everything's all the rock on it. The bottom side of the hood paint is just as nice as the exterior paint job. It's, in my opinion, it was done a few years back, but in my opinion, it's a definite show quality car, especially with these new wheels and tires on there. This car's got a fantastic look and will show well at any car show you take it to. Engine runs great, power steering. It does have a fan shroud as well to keep this thing cool. Fender tags there. When they did the paint job, the bottom of the hood is perfect. The inside of the fenders are done very nicely as well. Foot gap's nice and even, it lines up really nice across the top of the fender. I mean, if a guy wants to pick it apart at all, it has a little paint chip right there. Another one that was touched up right here. Just touched up chip. So it's got those three uh, chips on the hood and the top of the fenders, but the rest of the paint on there is just absolutely gorgeous. Laid out very nicely, very straight. As we go under a windshield, it has the antenna in the windshield, uh, no wiper marks that I can see, just a nice clean windshield. We do have a couple little paint chips right along that door edge that's been touched up. The bottom of the front fender is excellent. As we go over the top of the fender, I mean, no paint imperfections, it just looks great. It does have drum brakes on the front. Brand new wheels, they're not the polished aluminum, they are the chrome. Uh, we went with 215 7015s on the front. Rocker panel looks great, bottom of the door looks excellent. Again, a couple tiny little chips, but no bubbles or blisters anywhere that I can see. Very solid car. Again, if you're on our website, coyoteclassics.com, you're gonna see that the, there's 15, 20 pictures of the undercarriage, very solid under there as well. Door handle looks new. Door gap is really nice from top to bottom. In front of the rear quarter, over the quarter, up in this area of the quarter. I mean, it's just laser straight, no bubbles, no blisters. Look how nice and straight this body is. The door lines up great, the fender lines up great, nothing sticks out as we look up and down the side. The back bumper's new. I mean, you really have to see this car to appreciate it. Just a very, very nice Nova. Um, exhaust comes out right behind the rear wheel, very nicely done. the bottom of your quarter. As we go here to the factory sky roof, the uh, vinyl top looks to be the original vinyl top still. The sky roof uh, works perfectly. 
it's laid out very nicely. As our doors go, doors open and close very nicely. Uh, just like the uh, bottom of the hood, inside of the fenders, I mean the door jam paint, it's just as nice as the rest of the car. Nothing tacky on the paint on this car at all. You did a really nice job painting inside here. I know there's a few shadows and stuff in this video, but the paint, you can see the quality right here. It's a really bright sky blue metallic. Uh, scuff plates are really nice. Door jam paint's nice. As we look in here in our corner of the door, that's excellent. Also, if you look back in here, a lot of cars, you're not gonna see it from the outside, but they're rusty and rotten up in here. This is all original down in there and it's very solid. Uh, the dash pad's in great shape except for over here above the, uh, on the top it has one crack over here. It's got Sun Pro gauges in it, the rest of the dash looks great. Uh, it's got, the uh, odometer shows 2,853, I'm guessing by the judging by the body and everything. Um, it's a 102,000 original mile car. Inside here it's got all its factory vehicle safety maintenance stickers and everything there. Inside of the glove box is nice. As far as our seat goes, it's a factory bench seat car. No one's changed it and put any goofy buckets in it. Seat covers all look good. It's got uh, the retractable seat belts for the front. Also has seat belts for three in the back. Back seat looks great. Headliner looks good. It does have a little spot over, um, a very small little spot on the seam over there, kind of a small hole. Uh, we didn't really talk about the door panels. The carpet on the bottom of the door panels looks good. The vinyl and the armrest and base and all that looks good as well. Great running car, no smoke, no valve guide smoke. Super straight body. No disappointments on how straight this body is at all. Check out how nice that fits. Tail light chrome's been replaced. Tail light lenses are perfect. Bumper's excellent. License plate bracket's nice. It's got our uh, license plate light up in there. It did a nice job when they restored this car. Even the paint and stuff on this back, uh, underneath the trunk lid, they did a great job, guys. Corner of this trunk lid is excellent. As we look at the paint and stuff over the top of the trunk lid, the paint job's beautiful there as well. I don't see any waves, dings, ripples, chips, nothing. Quarter, over the wheel well and in front of the wheel is excellent. No issues. Top of the quarter looks good. Right where the vinyl top meets the quarter, a lot of times you'll see bubbles or blisters up in there in these vinyl top cars. There's absolutely none of that going on. Very, very nice and clean. Metal looks great. If you're looking for a nice clean Nova, guys, 70s Nova, this thing's got the tires and wheels on it. It's ready to go. The sky roof, which just an awesome option. You go to a, a car show, most people haven't even seen a factory skyroof car. So this car is going to get a ton of attention. You're going to pull into a show and it's a laser straight body, a beautiful paint job, nice chrome. There's just really not much at all that has to be done to this car. Again, laser straight body on the driver's side. Got just a little touch up right here that's been touched up, a little chip. Lower fender is excellent. Uh, door gap is great across the top here in the front. Uh, no bubbles or blisters in the rocker or doors. I mean, there's no issues here at all. Door shuts good, lines up good. We are missing uh, one of these little stoppers here. 
Driver's side door panels, just like the passenger side, the vinyl's in great shape, carpet looks fine, uh, armrest and base are good. Um, driver's side seat has a couple wear marks through. It's not all the way through on the vinyl, but you can tell the outside part's just a little scratched up. We also have a little spot here. Could be the original seat covers, guys. Uh, very possible, but I'm not sure on that. If they're not original, they were done a long time ago. Uh, inside door jam paint is flawless. And they definitely painted everything, doors off, fenders off, hood off, trunk lid off. They did a great job on the paint job. Corner of the fender looks good. Corner of the door looks good. As far as our temp goes, we're running 190. Probably got a 180 thermostat in it. It's running right where it should. Oil pressure is about 35, 40. Uh, amp gauge is charging. It's got a Sony AM FM cassette. Stereo works good. Heater fan works good, which is amazing. A lot of the Nova fans are all froze up and broke on the levers. Um, it's got an aftermarket sun tack right here. That works. Wipers work. Um, also the dash applique. If we look at the dash applique here, the uh, lighter switch, washers, um, all of this plastic is like new. I mean, it's in fantastic condition. So very, very good. Idle's really good as we just uh, moved it down. It's been running here for a while. We moved it down into, into drive and it uh, sits there and idles beautifully. Doesn't jump into gear. Brakes are perfect, no pull left or right. Got a really nice full pedal here. So not only is the paint excellent, the body and excellent, the interior is really nice. I mean, this car is a great driving car. We do have a little bit of a fan. Uh, I don't know if we got chrome pulleys up there or what. We got just a little bit of a fan squeak when we hammered on it. Let's try to adjust that a little bit. Um, as far as our front suspension with those new tires, it goes perfectly straight down the road. Again, the brakes, it does not have disc brakes on it, guys, but it doesn't need it. It's got power steering and those front brakes, they stop perfectly. As we look out over the hood, the paint on the hood is fantastic. Brakes got great stopping power. The speedometer and lens and all that are super clean as well. So very nice dash on this car. This little Nova runs and drives fantastic down the road. Um, the only thing we got that I can see is just that fan belt squeal. There's high speed braking. I mean, that's just really stomping on the brakes, guys. And uh, the front end goes nice and straight. The speedometer works, but it's a little off. It's reading a little fast on the speedometer. 